Welcome to my channel. I'm an industrial psychologist and career coach and today I'm going to give you tips on how to answer a question that many job seekers love to hate. How do you answer the question, tell me about yourself in an interview? Now I've got bad news for you if this is a question that you dislike because it's not going anywhere anytime soon, particularly because a lot of employers actually use it as an icebreaker question. So you'll often find it at the beginning of an interview because it's a way to ease into the interview before they normally get into the really hard technical stuff. So here are a few tips. First of all, keep it very short and focused. I wouldn't answer this question for more than three minutes, right? Three minutes is enough because it's not your opportunity to go bullet by bullet um, about every point on your CV. The details will be explored later in the interview. It's also not an opportunity for you to start narrating the story of your life, right? So don't now start with, you know, where you were born, when you were raised and, you know, the dog that you bought and the primary school that you went to. No, it has to be two to three minutes, particularly focusing on your part of the experience that is of most interest to that employer. It's also very appropriate to ask, what would you like to know? That way, if there's something in particular uh, or a particular direction that the employer or the interview wants you to take, then they might say, well, you know, we want to know a little bit about your upbringing, for example, or they'll say, we want to know a little bit more about your industry or take us from the beginning, right? Um, so invite them to be specific, but very often they'll say, well, tell us anything. So how should you then use this two to three minutes um, of how you answer this question? Now, in as much as I've said, you know, um, this is not an opportunity to talk about the story of your life. What I often do is I do bring one or two sentences, you know, about my personal biography in because I feel that it humanizes you. It brings a little bit of a human and personal element into a, uh, an interview, which is typically very serious. So at the beginning, for example, you could say, I'm from Cape Town, you know, but I've been in Johannesburg since the age of 10, right? So one or two sentences about your personal biography is okay, because as I said, it kind of just sets the tone, but don't go to detail length about your, your personal upbringing or anything that is not really related to the role unless they ask. One, I always start with a summary of the years of experience that I have, right? For so example, say I've got 10 years work experience within the marketing industry. After your summary of experience, you could even mention your educational qualifications or key roles that you have had. And I say key roles because if you've had, let's say, five to 10 positions your entire career. You're not going to mention all of them. You're probably going to mention the last two or three that you've had, or you will mention the roles that you have held, which are of most interest to this position or more aligned. So for example, you could say some of the key positions I've had was, you know, brand manager for a multinational company. I was also uh, a marketing manager for a bank for about three years. And then I'm currently working um, as a brand campaign manager at one of the advertising agencies. So it's really the key roles. Uh, and I think it's almost like a teaser, right? To what are those exciting parts of your experience that the employer would be most interested to know. After you've spoken about roles, you can bring in the key skills or the key experiences that you have gained. And again, it's a summary. So cherry pick some of those skills which you feel are most exciting or most appealing about your experience. So if you've worked in marketing and maybe there's like 10 things that you do in your job right now, you're not going to mention all of them. So you mention normally the things that stand out. So for example, you know, I managed a campaign that was you know, worth 10 million US dollars. That was the biggest that the company had ever had. So talk about key experiences that you have gained, probably maybe three or four maximum. Now, to sort of close off that tell me about yourself question, I normally end with two things. So one, state why you are there at the interview, right? So close off by saying what attracted you to that role. So you could, for example, say, I'm here for this marketing manager position because I feel that my banking experience is very much aligned to what was required as per the job description that you advertised. 
Now, thank you for watching today's short segment. So in summary, the question, tell me about yourself should not be longer than three minutes. You should bring in the key experiences that you've had in your career and you don't have to mention all the details to keep it short and script. In fact, the way you could think about it is a trailer to a movie, right? Mm -hmm. Don't tell them the entire story. Talk about highlights, talk about the most enticing and most appealing parts of your experience that will be of interest to that particular employer. Thank you for watching and for more of my content, have a look at www.fionamartin.com. See you next time.